Hello guys, in this video I am going to introduce you to a very neat project called as Lama CPP WASM. Lama CPP WASM combines both Lama.CPP and WebAssembly.WASM. It is a project that brings the power of Lama.CPP which is a very high performance C++ library to the web using WebAssembly. In very simple words, this project enables you to run your large language models in your browser. That's it. Now, when we say Lama.CPP, as I said, it's a C++ library which enables you to convert large language models into a quantized or shorter form so that you could run those models on your CPU or a mixture of CPU and commodity GPUs. And WASM stands for WebAssembly that enables code written in languages like C++ to run on the web at near native speed. So that is why this uses um, Lama.CPP to uh, you know quantize the models and then WASM to make them browser native. Now this initiative really opens up new possibilities for web developers to leverage the computational efficiency and speed of C++ in web applications, making it really easy to handle complex tasks directly in browser without compromising on performance. And this will be secure too. Now, there is a lot of other uh, information on their GitHub repo, which I'll drop the link in video description. So, Lama, Lama CPP WSM or WSM stands at the intersection of modern web development and high performance computing offering and tantalizing glimpse into the future of the web. By bridging the gap between C++ and JavaScript through WebAssembly, it unlocks new possibilities for developers to create more powerful and efficient web application. Whether you are building complex data processing tools, sophisticated web games or any application that demands high performance, Lama CPP WSM offers a compelling solution that leverages the both of the world. Okay, now let me show you a quick demo as how that works and you can also access it from their website just click come down and then click on single thread WASM and this is the browser window where you can just select your model they have a lot of options here tiny llama, quen, stability, micro-fi and various other and once you select your model and click on run first time after giving your prompt here it downloads the model and puts it in your browser in your cache so make sure that you have some uh, this much memory available or more of course but at least this much so 265 mb is not that much let's see if it runs on my system or not let me give it a simple uh, uh, some different prompt which one came first egg or chicken explain it to a five-year-old let's run it so you can see that <coughs> it is loading the model also showing you at the bottom so hopefully my this will have my system will have enough memory there so let's wait for it to finish so it's been five minutes and it is still running so i will just let it run for now and let's go back and check um, some more information around as how you can install and build it so in order to build it and I will also create a, another video where I'll show you in detail as how to actually run it all you need to do is to git clone their repo from their CD to that Lama CPP VSM and then simply build for single thread or you can also build for multiple threads I would suggest you start with a single thread and then you can um, go from there so once you build it you will find Lama.CPP built in this directory here for the single thread and for multi-thread empty here and then in order to deploy um, all you need to do is to just copy paste and use as anywhere in your vanilla script here so this is example node.js which you can run on your server with the help of that html and it is going to provide you all the models so this is these are all the models you can just give one or two and it is going to build it like that and if you want to run it all you need to do is just create a um, you yourself signed certificate by OpenSSL 
and then by npx start your local server with this certificate and your thread and that's it and then you can access it over here as i said i will create another video where i'll show you in detail as how to do it so don't worry about it let's check if it is done in our browser it is still running so i'll just let it run i'm not going to wait for it i, I don't think so my browser has that much space so maybe i will just get another server and i'll install it there anyway that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you did uh, like it please consider subscribing to the channel and if you like the content please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching